Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy, Blizzard Chef here. If you know how to read, you obviously know what I'm making. If you don't know how to read or you just found me on accident, well, I'm making the best goddamn smoothie you'll ever have in your life. All right, first things first, everything you're going to need for this recipe will be in the description below. Let's get this road on the show because I'm tired of talking. All right, first of all, grab an oversized banana to compensate for your undersized paper plate, as well as a chef's knife. This will help you look more cooler. Then we're going to cut off just the tips. This will not only make the banana more visually appealing, but it will also make it easier to handle later when we cut off the peel. Personally, I don't eat the wrapper with my banana, so as usual, we're going to go tip to butt, cutting the wrapper so we can in turn cut the banana. Make sure you have a hard time cutting through the wrapper. This will make the banana rethink its decision of becoming a banana, which is a very important part of this recipe simply because it makes them sweeter. After you've cut the wrapper, make sure you peel it off gently and put the long white thing on the plate. Then we chop 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 until it's chopped banana sized. Good job, you managed to chop a banana. Alright, next we're going to put this banana in the freezer. We're going to wait for uh, approximately, I don't know, until the banana is actually frozen. And then we're going to take it out. Alright, after you've come to the conclusion that your bananas are actually frozen, you're going to take them out of the freezer, as well as your milk. Wait, don't freeze your milk, but like put, <laughs> take, take the milk out of the fridge and put it onto the counter. Alright, then you're going to take the frozen bananas off of the plate and put them into your blender of choice. Mine happens to be uh, a neutra bullet or like the f silver bullet or something something like that not sponsored by the way all right then we're going to put in the milk all right this is also one of the most important parts of this recipe um luckily for me i have this lovely little fill line on the neutra bullet and it tells me exactly where i should fill it um Unluckily for you, you guys have to read the description in order to get the actual ingredients list so you know how much milk to put in so you don't overpour, so you don't mess up the smoothie, so you actually know what a delicious smoothie tastes like. Um, anyway. Alright, then we're going to put in a teaspoon, a hefty teaspoon, or level teaspoon, of cocoa powder. This is going to actually make it taste like chocolate. Do not try this next thing at home. Obviously, I'm a professional. That's why you're watching my videos, all right? You want to measure out your honey, or else it can be too sweet. But since I'm really good at what I'm doing, I can do it without measuring. So you want to put no more than a tablespoon of honey in there, or else it'll be too goddamn sweet. The next part, you're going to put in peanut butter. Um, personally, I like crunchy peanut butter just because I like the texture of nuts in my... Pe uh, peanuts in my mouth um, it adds like you know another depth of flavor um, just the peanuts um, yeah anyway so I personally like adding a hefty tablespoon in there that's why I got the tablespoon because you put a hefty tablespoon in there and it's kind of hard to level out peanut butter so basically you're gonna put the spoon in the peanut butter and then just put it in the shake all right it's super simple how can you mess this up all right, then you put the top on and you get to blending this beautiful beast, all right? The way you'll know it's done is if you don't hear anything chopping in the blender, all right? If you don't hear anything going, all right, then you'll know it's done. Um, if you need to, you can pulse it just to really get a feel for what's in the blender. But after that, man, you just open it up and you drink it, all right? And if you can't tell, by my thumbs up. This thing tastes amazing. All right, this is the best thing you're ever gonna have in your life. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys liked the video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. If you guys do end up trying this recipe, make sure you let me know how it is in the comments below. I will try to upload once a week from here on out. I took me a long time to actually start this channel, but I finally started it. I'm gonna be making a spreadsheet that will be updating as I go along. It's gonna be a Google, Google sheet so you can just press on it and it'll have all the nutrition facts of all the things that I cook. Obviously, it will update as I go along. Um, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Peace.